All right, so here we are guys. We are on the mission to go get this HR wagon. We have quite a way to dig uh, this rear axle out, so. Oh, I know, it's just... Oh, it's tire on a trailer. Tire on a trailer, yeah. It's flat. Tire there? No, how the hang the... Let's just get it on. Take it, take it off the car and let's go. Tomorrow's another day. Oh. We are back out in the bush, it's the next day and uh, as you saw last time I left you, our tyre was punctured. Uh, we did manage to plug that up and we got about 30k down the road and then both two tyres and that trailer went ba bang And so unfortunately after everything we did yesterday we still had to leave the car in the bush on the trailer, go all the way back into town and now we're back, just down the this time and um, we're on a quick rescue mission, new tyres on the trailer and we're off. But on our way up yesterday, all the ladies, because they grew up in this area, they're pointing out like, oh, go that way, go that way, go that way. There's just these cars everywhere that they know of. Marlene has a real eye and memory for vehicles. She absolutely loves cars almost as much as we do. And she's just like, oh, yeah, there's an FJ down that way. Or there's a Falcon over there. You know, just great old knowledge. So we decided we had a little bit of time. We'll take a bit of a detour and go down one of these tracks that I was talking about. And I'll tell you what, it did not disappoint. XM Falcon Sedan. Yeah, she's had a fire as they normally do out here, but look at the chrome work, the side chrome on there. You've still got all the window chrome around there, still in good nick, handles. Rear bumper needs a bit of, bit of tender loving. <laughs> Stop the toe, I guess that's um, before cane toads get over here to us in West Australia. Nah, the stripes down the side have gone on this side, we've still got half of them though, so that's okay. Again, door handle, only one on this side. What about our diff, is that in there? Yep, still got the diff and the drive shaft in there. This is just really, really cool. So, yeah, they've given us heaps of new leads to go find. Oh, it's an eye gearbox. So, where'd that gearbox come from then? Okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> some really awesome new leads on bush wrecks. Uh, this time, we are really trying. As you know, that vehicle we went to rescue is 250k out. We're about 200k out for this one. Um, yeah, we're getting really far now and we're starting to find some awesome stuff. Anyway, well, let's go find our HR. Hopefully it's still there on my trailer with our jacks and everything. We pull it off the side of the road, so it should be nice and safe. Let's go see that now. Okay, so we are here. Just up in the distance over there is our HR. And uh, just while pulling in though, we noticed a little bit of mirror reflection. And uh, we did notice a lovely Camry wagon here. But also, look at this. There's heaps of wrecks here. Let's see what we've got. That's all modern stuff. No one really cares. We've got a Valiant wagon here. Nice holding grill on there as well. Look, I still got the engine in there. Plugs, dizzy, fuel pump. I don't missing the top of it though. Carby's gone, single. What is this? It's a, oh, I can't read that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, not sure there. What are you found? Oh, that's a yay. <laughs> oh, that's okay. And what was this one? Mark II? This is Mark II Zephyr. Mark II Zephyr? Yeah. Mate, what a shame. That thing's too crushed up. It's looking pretty sad, the poor thing. Whoa, it's a big motor, though. Big straight six. Yeah. There's BMC upside down behind you. Behind me? What's. Oh, okay. Man, that's mangled. I guess when they've made adjustments to the road, they've. Uh, Pick these up and just dump them all here. What's that? Another Valiant Ute? There's a few Valiants here, guys. Okay. That's what we got. What are you what? Oh. Um. Oh, this one's got a slant six in it. Oh, yeah, that is old British. What's that? That's another, another Valiant. Or some description. All right. All right. Let's keep going. What else have we got up here? Uh, the underside of something. Oh, that's an HQ. HQ HZ. Uh, Two mm, Yeah. Yes. Boy, look at the damage on the driver's side. 
Love on the homemade bull bar. Twin headlight, that's a uh, premier. Yeah. Or was. It's, yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, she ain't much now, unfortunately. Oh, that bow housing's cracked on that one. And last one up here, let's have a squeeze. Yeah, Japanese, I reckon. Some description. Yeah, that's a little pit there of vehicles that have been obviously pushed up along with all this other rubbish here and just dumped and left to rot and also mangled and twisted. Yeah, we can't use too much of that. So, let's go rescue the HR. That is usable. Okay, we stopped being distracted, we found it. Um, this, yeah, that's how we left it. It gives you an idea of how bad the tires were. They actually ripped themselves apart. Um, we had no option but just to leave it here. So, we'll get it onto the back of the F250 and then we've got brand new tires on the old rims as well. So, yeah, we'll just get that done. It's not very interesting to watch someone change tires. Fixed it. Only took two brand new tires and 400 kilometers and a whole nother day. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the car's on the trailer. The trailer works now, so let's go home. I'm hot. <laughs> oh, well, that was a lovely spot for a uh, to stop and have a look around and, oh, maybe just fix our tire that keeps trying to fall off. Well, the wheel nuts have just come loose and totally rounded or elongated all those holes. Ah, this is the adventure that just keeps on giving. Oh, lucky we brought a spare. We'll chuck that on and then hopefully we can make it home. We haven't come very far, about 50 odd k's or so, I think. So, oh, let's keep going. Okay, that's that repair done. We are missing a wheel nut, but oh well, we've got four more. We can lose another two at least. So, we'll just watch it, make sure it rolls nicely because it's a different style room and we don't know if it's going to clear the brake drum properly. And then we will be back on the road. Going home. I want to go home. I want to get this car home. <sighs> I need a decent trailer. Anyone want to buy me a decent car trailer to do this properly? That would be nice. Or a truck with a, like a tilt tray on it and the trailer. And then we can rescue lots of cars. Oh, watch the wheel. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. Alright, let's keep going home. Hopefully we can make it home this time. Let's see what happens. Ah, and there we are, safely back home, car is on the trailer, trailer has all its wheels, and we are sitting pretty next to the Crescida. So, absolutely awesome, awesome that we've rescued yet another vehicle, and in one, arguably probably the better condition of any wreck that we have dragged home yet. Um, yes, there's definitely plenty of bog in this old girl, which is interesting, because if this car was abandoned, in the late 70s early 80s it means it was 20 years at the most old when it was parked up and just look at the amount of rust there was so yeah uh what we're gonna do we'll uh next week we'll jump in this car and we'll go right through everything and see how bad it is how good it is what we do have and what's missing so i'll oh, look at that, the holding badge you can just see it make it out there that would have been a nice looking badge but even now look at the, how thick that bog is right there that's crazy but anyway we'll go over all of that in the next episode so to that thank you very much for watching thank you very much to my family for helping out dad mum the old ladies um the, the the wise ladies i should say thank you so much for coming along and rescuing this vehicle it was an awesome day it was definitely an adventure it was an adventure for sure uh, we learned a lot of things um primarily i need a better trailer so again if you want to buy me a truck tilt day truck and some decent trailer let me know um yeah that's it well, it's been an absolutely fantastic day so well there we are folks that is all for the hr wagon series for now i'm just here to let you know that there will be more videos on that car but not right now as i'm still on the east coast and that vehicle's sitting on its car trailer back home in my driveway in west australian outback now why do i release the videos now then well because i had so much fun on that day and so much fun editing it i just had to show you guys uh, our little adventure that we went on it was full of mishaps the car did not want to come home but we eventually got it there anyway so what's coming up next is we have a series of garage walkarounds and yard walkarounds um from some absolutely amazing blokes who were kind enough to open up their sheds and show off their creations and show off what vehicles they're working on so that's going to fill us up for the next couple of weeks 
and then hopefully we'll get back into some bush related stuff sooner or later so thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode of automotive carnage